Will somebody please cue that boy? Samurai Pizza Cat. Oh, yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cat. Right on! They're stepping up crime, and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Ceviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter ah. makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid of going into battle with the bad guys in vain. Here's Guido Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. Here <laughs> They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. <laughs> Than old cheese, stronger than dirt. Oh, 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 Don't hurt me. <laughs> They're fighting crime all over town. Three, two, one. Pizza cats are on the run. The big cheese is the villain who's lower than low. It's a rotten yeah, yeah, shame. Yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty. Ninja crow. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. Somewhere deep in the bowels of a little Tokyo pizza kitchen. Man, that's great! Yeah, all of us together in a spa! You wouldn't happen have to have, have an ulterior motive, would you, Uncle Al? Motive, Schmotive, episode 41 takes place in the spa. So where should I send you people, Cleveland? Every time you cats are sent somewhere nice, you think I've got some sort of ulterior motive. That hurts my feelings. <laughs> We're just joshing you a little bit, Big Al. Chill out. You pizza cats have got to remember I'm very sensitive. Now say you're sorry, all of you. We're sorry. Thanks. Now, have any of you been to a spa? Never. Not me. Mm. I wish. According to this little pamphlet I found on Spa Etiquette, I don't think there's much chance of you kittens blending in there. Careful, Al. Your sensitivity is showing. This is a picture of the presidential cottage. You don't think I sent too many flowers, do you? The Emperor and Princess Phi will be staying there this week. Oh, and I suppose it's just a coincidence that they're going to the same spa we are? Well, it wouldn't hurt for you to memorize this map of the area and keep your eyes open. And there's another thing I want to mention. The wife and I are having a little party next weekend. All of you that come back alive are invited. Thanks a lot, Big Al. You're so generous. Can you say that with your eyes shut? I'll try. Return alive, and you're invited to my house. Al is a soccer! Very <laughs> funny. However, I don't think you cats will be laughing when I tell you the big cheese has been prowling the area. You'd better stay on your toes. Yeah! I'd like to get a claw into the big cheese. All right. Don't take any chances. It's just hard to hate, Al. And so, once again, the Pizza Cat set out hoping for a rematch with that champion of sheep known as the Big Cheese, or at the very least, a chance to find out where he shops. Testing, testing! Oh, may I have your attention, please? We are preparing to launch Pizza Cat. My mom's doing the launch. I would suggest you vaccinate the premises. Oh, I'm getting all tingly. So excited, I shut my eyes and now I can't open them. Ever neat, may I have your attention? Didn't you just love the way I did that? The Pizza Cats flying in tight formation move west out of the city towards their ultimate destination, Bob and Ed's health spa and tennis branch. At the same moment, the royal party is also heading west. Emperor Fred, cross-eyed from nausea, and the unflappable Princess Vi try to remember why they didn't bring the limo. Hey, look, you guys, there's the royal party. I wonder why the emperor didn't bring the limo. According to the map, it should be just over this ridge. There's the waterfall. It's beautiful. Let's fly down under the bridge. That'll impress him. Here we go. Boy, are we good. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is take a bath. You should. You need one. Hey, who took all the furniture? Big Al must have us on the economy package. There's nothing economy about this. Yeah! Look, snacks! Oh, they really know how to make you feel at home. 
nuts and dough balls. <laughs> mm. Amazing. He has a stomach of iron. Come on, Polly. Let's look around. Maybe even take a quick dip. I'm right behind you, Francine. See you, fellas. <laughs> oh, this pizza dough has made my jaw lock. Hey, buddy. There's a babe alert at the pool. Oh, that's better. Let's get going. Last one in is a rotten egg. Wait up. No fear. Francine, know how to get 40 fat women into a spa? Sure, throw in a donut. <laughs> you too tense. Just let me crack your neck and then you'll feel better. She's right, honey. Just relax and flow with it. Oh. Hi, handsome. Now, <laughs> oh, why is he so jumpy? Tense. We noticed that about him the moment we saw him. Young man, you have to come up for us sometime. We'll wait right here, Bubbola. Having a little problem with the babe, Speedy? Butt out! Some babe alert. <laughs> hey, there's somebody over there sitting all by herself. Hmm, looks pretty cute. Hmm. I think we should slide over there and take a closer look. <laughs> Join me, fellas. Oh, darn, I was looking forward to doing a little bonding with the younger generation. Come back, fellas. That was Seymour. Man, what's he doing here? Al was right to be worried. Whatever that Limburger is up to, I bet it leaves an odor. That's no lie. Bitsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Ooh, that feels good. Don't stop. Yeah, that feels great. <laughs> Quick, Guido, I'm God. What's the matter with you guys? Too much caffeine? Huh? If you're here to harm Emperor Fred, it'll take more than those attractive eyes of yours to get by the pizza cats, boy brain. What is it with you cats always so darn tense? Everything's such a big deal. Get off that rail before you fall. You guys are always overacting. We were told the producer wanted that. Do you really think we overdid it? I don't think it's anything to cry about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's just this vacation is so overdue, you know. Bad guys need a vacation, too. Geriatric, what are you doing here? Get over here on the double. <laughs> That asthma sounds bad. You bet it's bad. That's why I'm here at this spa trying to have a vacation and get better. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. It's very nice of you to be concerned, but if you're really concerned, you'd call it true so we can both have a nice little rest. A ceasefire and no fighting? Exactly. This is too good to be true. Hmm. Maybe they know the Emperor is here and they're trying to trick us. I'd be willing to go along with that. As the discussions continue, Emperor Fred is oblivious to the possible danger. How are you doing, most noble one? Farab. If we sign a truce, they can't harm the Emperor even if they find out he's here. I'll take a chance. You're on. I agree, too, but if you guys try any funny business, I'm gonna pluck you ball. Perish the dot. <laughs> Sometimes kids are so disgusting. Unbeknownst to anyone, General Catton and the B Team were on their way to Bob and Ed's Health Spa and Tennis Ranch to assist the Pizza Cats if it should be necessary. Boy, are these guys good or what? Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Speedy has quickly scribbled the peace proposal and all the members of the opposing parties have gathered for the signing. Boy, your penmanship stinks. And so, despite his inability to read the fine print, Geriatric signed the truce. Handshakes were exchanged, and a sense of well-being prevailed. There's nothing I like better than having a little get-together with friends, and to celebrate the Ninja Crows have prepared a little dance. Right foot in, you put your left foot out. Hey, you put your right foot in. Jerry, and... please sit down. This is not entertaining. I brought some real entertainment. Oh, Seymour! Why did he have to stop me? I was on a roll. Oh, sometimes I hate being second banana. Keep your eyes on center stage. Oh. Oh. How about doing some of your fabulous celebrity impressions, you big hunk? 
Who's that, Liza Minnelli? Minnelli, my eye! Princess Vi! Princess Vi, of course I could tell it was a princess. I could! Nice cover, Big Cheese! Stunned into still life by the incredible likeness of Princess Vi, the party comes to a standstill! Those ninja crows sure know how to party, don't they? Why do I feel like I'm being punished? Because our dente is so tight, he squeaks. We work our tails to the bone, and look at the way he treats us. We don't get any of the perks. Don't blame Al. He's not the writer. We have to get ourselves a new writer. We've got ourselves a new writer. I think I'll sing. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll love you tomorrow. <clears throat> What are you doing? I have to give up one of our animators for this writer! Speedy had spoken the truth, and everyone was frozen until the animator returned, just in time for them to catch some snappy impressions in the next room. Here's one I think you'll like. <laughs> I just about had it with this lovely party. Come on, everybody, let's go and try and have a little fun this evening. Just play ping pong with Rio instead. Yeah, I got the pink one. Why are you mad at you guys? I can't believe it. I was about to play that. What's the matter, buddy? Little too much catnip? Smell his breath. Ugh. Remember the truth? I don't want to fight with you, but I wish you. Oh, take a hike, bud. Yeah, otherwise, I'm going to take this paddle and slap you. Just try it. <laughs> That's all the guff I'm going to take from you, stupid crows. Prepare to lose some tail feathers. Hold it. Pizza Cat, apparently you've forgotten about our truth. Ah, your little pals are worn out, they're welcome. Picky, 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 that's it. Boy, talk about a bad attitude. You wrote this thing? Where are you from, New York? What's the matter with you, kid? Oh, what's the matter, pussy cat? <laughs> bad word said I acted like I was from New York. I want you to apologize. Huh? I've got it, we'll settle this with a ping pong match. That's the only way. <sighs> All right, Mr. Smarty Pants, let's see what you got. Now, Speedy's done it. Mm. Are you ready? Yeah, I'll serve. Bad Bird prepares to serve. Oh, beautiful backspin on that one, Jack. And a nice return from Speedy. Bad Bird hits, oh, it pops over the net. Oh, Speedy can't get a couple. Look for Speedy. Speedy prepares to serve. And so our two young rivals began what was to go down at Pizza Cat Legend as the longest ping pong match on record. Having never played before, Speedy suggested they play to 100 points. A marathon length, even for the veteran ping pong ball, which sought refuge on the scoreboard and insisted on resting for 10 points. As we rejoin the action, both boys are suffering a severe case of lockjaw. This is match point. An incredible serve. Bad Bird is caught off guard. He leaps. He can't get it. Speedy wins. Back at the ranch, the Big Cheese and his cohorts try out the spa's patented vibrating chairs. My, yes, this is so refreshing, Jerry. It makes all my muscles feel totally relaxed. Uh, 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 no, oh, 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 oh. Do you think we should buy some of these for the hideout? Huh? I just love a good fight. Oh, I'm so happy. It thrills me to no end. I'm overwhelmed. Sometimes you're just sickening. How do you like these packs? I'll use this flashlight I swallow to guide me out of here. Then I'll teach those pizza cats a lesson they won't find in any school book. Uh-oh. Hey, why don't you use a door? Monsters don't use doors! It's a beautiful 
right for a fight, everyone. Come on out and let's rumble. Oh boy, this is going to ruin the evening. I can see that right now. What do you say, fellas? Let's call a halt to this whole thing. Uh huh? Call it off. The Monsters Union's gonna hear about this. You know, it takes a little bit of effort to blow myself up like this. I don't know, gang. The Union can be touchy. The big guy's right. You can't quit. The Union will find us. Okay, to your places, everybody. <laughs> come on, come on. Hurry up, you guys. Hurry up. Go I have a better body than you do. Prettier, maybe. But let's see how tough it is. Oh boy, hero is down, but not out, as a secret signal is emitted by the magical Ginzu sword. Not available in any store, which immediately reaches the supreme catatonic. Fear not, Beta Cats! Reinforcements are just a cat's breath away! Give him a little sample of what we got! I'll give him a burst of the water machine gun! I got a little something for him. How about a blast? Compliments of Bat Cat! Ha! I'm invincible! Our big gun didn't seem to phase him. Yeah, this guy isn't as soft as I thought. <laughs> I think we better get him up. Let's try. I'm all right. Just help me. Look, everyone, Speedy's fine. As our heroes look on, the Supreme Catatonic launches a barrage of designer weapons like no one's ever seen before. Massing for a powerful counterattack, the mighty birds zero in on their adversary. As they approach, the Peter Cats, with a little help from wardrobe, change into their very finest fighting attire. Stunning! As their rocket packs lock into place, our heroes have truly become... The Pizza Cats! Here comes the Supreme Catatonic! Are you ready, Pizza Cats? We're ready! Speedy, show that overblown bag of wind who's boss! We will! Turn that light down! Come on, Speedy, hurry up! I'm coming, I'm coming! Hey, wait a second, what happened to the lights? Don't close the door! I haven't got any breaking! <laughs> that feels good. A little lower and to the right. Something's the matter. I think he's stuck. Stop doing that. You're blocking the windshield. We can't see a thing. That's it, you big bag of hot air. You not only destroyed a perfectly good robot, but you ruined my vacation. Ooh, we can replace the robot, but we haven't had a vacation in three years! Yeah, ham! Uh-oh! I don't think that worked! Someone get the patch! Get before the robot blows away! So the Pizza Cats once again have prevailed, proving that old adage, it's better to be incredibly lucky than good. Meanwhile, back at what's left of the ranch... <laughs> I just love to be punished. <laughs> Let me see, that's 30000 of room to rebuild the place. Uh, hmm, looks like this remodel's gonna cost you some big change, Mr. Big. These ropes are making all the blood rush to my head. <laughs> Let's see, one calculator it. Man, oh man, that was some adventure, wasn't it? Pretty cool. We taught those boys a lesson. Don't get us, man. <laughs> the incredibly lucky Pizza Cats triumph once again. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath. The Pizza Cats are Samurai. And I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call a retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down, we land upon our feet. So hail to thee, oh Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cats! Samurai Pizza Cats. We 
hoped you liked the show. It's the best that we could do. Come on, right, it's a guess. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know the cats will be back for another big show. <laughs>